Hey guys, it's your boy Steve and Baby Yoda back again with another video. So, it is finally time for the Q&A. Finally, it is here. Um, I've been trying to do this for almost a year now. Um, since the first time I tried to do it. Um, the only reason that the first time it didn't work out was because I didn't have a tripod at the time. So I couldn't get this view, or this kind of view. So, but now I got a tripod, the view is good, I'm good to go. So I did, I did get a few questions here. Um, total of 30 questions, nothing too personal. Um, after, the, uh, after I'm done with the Q&A though, I will, um, I want to show you. I want to share with you guys a personal story, or at least a couple of them. Um, now they are personal to me, but they are. It's something personal that I want to share with you guys. So that's for after the Q and A. So here are the Q and A questions. Here, let's just get uh, baby Yoda's here. You know. All right. Got my uh, Coke here. We're good to go. So let's start the Q and A. First question is, what did you want to be when you um, when you grew up or when you were small? Um, so when I was small, I always wanted uh, when I grew up, I always wanted to be a cop or a, a professional artist, you know. But um, unfortunately, those dreams did not happen. Um, one of the reasons is because of college. Um, I didn't want to go to college, so there's that. Because I mean, I went through high school, you know, four years of high school. I didn't, I didn't even want to do that, but I had to, you know. So whatever. <clears throat> but yeah, I wanted to be an artist or a cop, but you know, not anymore. Number two, what would you do if you won the lottery? So if I won a lottery, like say over a million dollars or something, say a couple million, I would honestly pay off my grandma's house, pay off all her bills, you know, pay off my parents' house, you know, um, buy a new car or something, try to get my license, you know, get a charger or something. I mean, I can get almost any car I want, especially if I want a few million, but it's like, Around here in my area, you know, especially with all the snow and stuff, like, um, I wouldn't want to spend, like, a lot of money on a car and then have it messed up with the snow and all that. So, probably just get a Charger or something, maybe a Cadillac, SUV or something, I don't know. Um, yeah, but, but that's what I, what I would do if I won a lottery. <coughs> um... Number three is, where is your family vacation? Um, so technically I, I, I did have one, but now I have a new one now. I want to say it's like a tradition we do, but um, my old one was um, Pennsylvania. It was called Pomatumi. They had a, quite a few cabins, very nice cabins. Um, they had a lot of stuff to do. Uh, they had like games, they had putt-putt, they had... Um, like tiny little diners on the, uh, in the, what do you call it, in the area. But, uh, it was a very nice area. You know, there was, all, there was actually, I think, a couple, um, flea markets by there. You know, pretty big ones. So, not bad. But we didn't, we, but we stopped going. I think the last year was 2012 or 2013. Was because the place got new new uh, owners, so you know they messed everything up. You know they took away everything, they raised prices by a lot. Like it's just stupid. So we just stopped going. But um, a couple of years ago, um, it was actually uh, twenty twenty. Then in twenty twenty, when I moved back to my grandma, um, but um, I think. It, a year or two before that, um, 
me and my grandma, you know, we started our own family vacation. We uh, actually go to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee with my aunts, uncles, and cousins. Um, but Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, very nice area, very nice city. A lot of stuff to do. Um, there's actually a lot more stuff in Pigeon Forge than there is in my area. Like, there's a lot more stuff to do. I mean, there's actually some stores that Pigeon Forge has that my area does not have. Um, you know, it has stores, it has, you know, restaurants a lot better than the ones around here. So, but I mean, the restaurants around my area, they're not bad or nothing. They're not nasty. They're pretty good. But it's just the restaurants and stores that are in Pigeon Forge, they honestly put the restaurants and the stores around here to shame easy. Um, I would say they're, they're smidge cheaper on some stuff, not everything though. But um, you get you you do get your money's worth though. You do. But uh, but yeah, new new uh family vacation, new tradition. I want to say we do it every year. <clears throat> I want to say it's we did it two or three times already. Not bad. So uh, but yeah. Number four, what is your favorite zoo animal? So, I do have a few, but my number one is a lion. A lion's are my favorite. Um, I know they don't really do anything at the zoo. They just sleep or lay down or whatever, or just go into a cave. But it's like, you know, they're not a bad animal. They're pretty fun to watch sometimes. Especially when they play around and stuff. They're kind of funny, you know. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, I have other favorite animals. Um, you know, the panda, I don't mind giraffes and stuff, you know, turtles and stuff like that. Um, but zoo animals, the list goes on for the animals, man. <clears throat> There's quite a few I like, but lions is number one. Number five, what's the longest you've gone without sleep? Alright, so they, they're getting a little deeper, nothing too personal, but uh, let's see. The longest I've gone without sleep... I want to say almost two days. I think I remember. Uh, it was about 36 hours, I want to say. Or close to that. Um, which is a quite, quite a few hours to not sleep. That's crazy. Like, I don't know, like, what kept me up. Like, I didn't drink any, like, <clears throat> like energy drinks. I didn't drink anything, like, any pop or nothing. You know, at the time, I just drank, like, just water, really, at the time. You know, and chocolate milk, basically. Um, I didn't, I even tried to take medicine to, like, help me sleep, but it wouldn't even work. So, you know, whatever. So I just play games, watch TV all night. Basically, watch YouTube. But, yeah. I want to say about 36, almost two days, which is crazy. <clears throat> uh, those people that stay up way longer than that, which is, like, ridiculous. But, yeah. Number six. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Honestly, it doesn't take me that long at all. <clears throat> I get up, get ready, get dressed. That's it. That's basically it. Um, a few minutes, no big deal. I'm out the door. You know. Number seven, what was your first job? So, my first job is that was actually my worst job. But there's a saying I have. Worst for first. Easy. That's the thing I have, you know, with some stuff. Not everything. <clears throat> but, um, my first job was McDonald's fast food. Um, I mean, it was more of a straightforward job, you know. But, um, now, one of the reasons why it was the worst one and it didn't work out was because well, for one, I was still in school, but that wasn't really one of the reasons. Um, but they kept moving me around and stuff, when, which is normal, understandable, you know. But they kept cutting my hours, too. Like, at first, I was working, like, every day, every, every day after school and stuff. But then, boom, 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 they just cut them down. And then 
I ended up working, say, from five days a week to one day a week. Like, it was just, you know, ridiculous. So it's like, I'm not working on one day a week, you know. Like, so basically, I was working from, say, 4, 4.30 to, like, 8 o'clock. So it's, like, not even worth it. So, put my two weeks in. Done. I was, I was done with it. Plus, the, uh, the boss was, you know, rude, disrespectful. So it's like, I don't want that kind of job. I mean, a lot of bosses can be rude and disrespectful. But, I mean, like that, the way he was, like, that's just ridiculous. Like, honestly, honestly, I wanted to beat him up. Like, I honestly wanted to. Like, he made me so mad. I wanted to put his head in the deep fryer. But, you know... I didn't put my two weeks in, just left, done. So yeah, worst job, worst of worst for first, easy. <clears throat> now number eight, what makes you laugh the most? So there's a little bit of stuff that makes me laugh. Um, basically my family makes me laugh a little bit. Uh, some YouTubers makes me laugh. Um, you know, like Lance Stewart, keep behind the camera, Tyrone Magnus, you know, they're all funny guys. <clears throat> there's, a, there's actually a few of them, you know, again, the list goes on, you know, not trying to make this a super long video, you know, <clears throat> but yeah, some videos, you know, make me laugh and stuff, but yeah. Number nine, why is your favorite game to play? So I have a few favorite games. Um, especially on Xbox 360, um, I have GTA 5, GTA 4, you know, Forza Horizon 1, the very first one, pretty fun game, even though 5 is the best one so far, but, but 1 is, like, not a bad one, though, um, basically has all my favorite cars, so, uh, you know, I have Need for Speed, uh, Most Wanted, uh, 05 and 12. <clears throat> and undercover so I think I do have rivals as well that was a fun one but yeah I mean I have a lot of different ones I mean I don't, I don't like play Halo I don't play Call of Duty Gears of War anything like that I do have a Halo Infinite poster right here um I don't know it's kind of weird because I don't play Halo but I, ha but I have a Halo poster so I do like Halo I don't I mean I love the gameplay but it's like just videos of it though. I don't I actually like playing it. Because um one of the reasons is because I suck bad at Halo. Like I never get any kills at all. Like that's how bad I am. But um plus the aiming and everything, like it's not for me though, you know. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean I do like the look of it. Look at the uh the gameplays and stuff. I do love the way it looks on the poster. Pretty pretty cool. But, you know. Number, let's see, number 10, have you ever had a nickname? What was it? So, my actual name is Steven. Um, so everyone used to call me Steven and stuff. You know, some people still do. Um, but when I wasn't going to middle school, people called me Steven. So when I went to high school, starting freshman year, People call me Steve, which that eventually caught on because I honestly love Steve more than Steven just because it sounds cooler and because it's shorter. So, plus that's why I name it my um, YouTube channel Steve's Life. You know, just go by Steve. But um, that was a nickname at first, and then I just caught on, and then uh, I just, I mean, I didn't change my name to that. My my name's still Steven, but I just go by Steve. You know, so everyone calls me Steve. But it was a nickname at first, and then just caught on. So, <clears throat> but yeah. Number eleven is how many pairs of shoes do you own? Um, well, I can say I used to own twenty-two pair total. Um, now they weren't like the best shoes. They weren't no Jordans. They weren't no Kyrie's, KD's, or nothing like that. Um, they were mainly they were mainly and one shoes. 
Um, I want to say a couple Nike. They weren't like the expensive ones. They were like kind of cheap, you know, like Walmart and ones and stuff. Um, I do have better shoes now. I only have like, I want to say six to nine pairs or something like that. I do have some N ones still. I got, I got, I got them from City Trends. They are the new ones. The like the the rainbow colorway, pretty thick. Uh, got the Paul George. I got some KDs now. I got, I do have the Nike white gloves, which are pretty cool. Uh, got some LeBrons, you know. But uh, I'm getting better at the shoe, the shoe collection. I'm getting better at that. Um, you know, got rid of all the other ones, all the crappy ones. Got better ones. Let's see, uh, number 12. How often do you buy clothes? No. <clears throat> I don't buy like, you know, shirts, hoodies, pants, and stuff like that all the time. Um, I only buy them when I, really, when I really need them. Because I have a lot of clothes now. I don't even wear. Um, but um, I will go off the street to City Trends, where I got the N1 shoes from. Um, I will look at my outfits, because they um, do have a few nice outfits, you know, the hoodie and, and pa matching pants, pretty cool outfits. Um, that's why I got my rainbow camo hoodie and you know outfit. I should say, I got my king outfit in there, my savage outfit. Um, you know, that's basically where I get my outfits from. My jeans and stuff, I'll get it from Walmart. You know, basic store. You know stuff like that. But when I go to Walmart. I do look at clothes and stuff, but I only, I only look at like shirts, you know, like Spongebob shirts, you know, like the graphic ones, whatever you want to call them. <clears throat> you know, like Grim Reaper, you know, skulls and stuff. Yeah. But that's once in a while, you know, I'll get them. Other than that, I just go by electronics. So. Number 13, do you love or hate roller coasters? Now, I do love roller coasters. It has been... Quite a while since I've been on one. Um, it was actually before I, I was a teenager. I want to say it was the last time I went on one. Now, when it comes to heights and stuff, though, um, I don't mind heights at all to a certain point, though. Um, but if it's past that certain point, I don't mess with it at all. You know, like skydiving—that's out of the question. That's no. That's way out. Um, but I will go on roller coasters depending on the height of them. And I know some are like super high. Like to the, like above the, the clouds and stuff. I, I almost cussed. Wow. <clears throat> Not trying to cuss on here. But I know some are like really high. Like above the clouds and stuff. So I was like, no, I don't do that. But I'll go on like a normal one, like a regular one and stuff. No big deal. You know. 14. What was your favorite subject in school? Now, middle school, basically... Basically every grade from... Let's see. I believe it was first or second to all the way to, to senior year. My favorite subject was art. Because I love drawing, I love painting, I love, you know, making stuff. You know, that's what I love to do. So, favorite subject was art. You know, pretty fun. You know, I mean, some stuff was like kind of complicated. So it's like, but either way, I still loved it because it's, you know, my favorite thing to do. Even though it was like some, sometimes tricky. You know, it was pretty cool though. Don't, the only thing I um, wanted to do that I didn't do was like actually like sculpt. Like stuff, you know. I know some schools like actually have an art class where you get to sculpt stuff, like marble, whatever you want to call it. But um, my school did not have that, so no big deal. <clears throat> Number fifteen. Do you have any tattoos? I do have some tattoos. I have this one right here on my arm, my hand. Wow, that is a razor logo. Pretty cool. I do have one. Right here, 
There's a dragon. Pretty cool. I just have another dragon on my back. It's like hard to show on camera. I do have one right here for my grandpa. I have one right here for my dad. And then I have one on my stomach. San Andreas. GTA San Andreas. I know it's crazy how I got that on my stomach or a tattoo in general. So, you know, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Six tattoos. Hopefully, I can get another one here, another one here, or my other hand. You know, because I want to even it out. You know, I don't want, you know, this this side done and not this side. You know, I want to even it out. So, hopefully, later on. Um, hopefully. <coughs> Oh, sorry about that. Hopefully, next time I get a tattoo, hopefully I can um, record it for YouTube. Hopefully, um, you know. So, number sixteen. What is the most expensive thing you bought? Um. One minute. So, I want to say the most expensive thing I bought was an Xbox Series X. Unfortunately, I don't have it anymore. I said that in, the, in my previous video. I explained why I bought 360. You know, things happen. You know, it is what it is. Life goes on, though, you know. Um, but yeah, Xbox Series X, most most expensive thing I bought. Um, now if it wasn't the Series X, it was probably a phone. I don't know which one though. Number seventeen, if your colors could be one color, what what color would it be? Um, well, all of you know my favorite color. I said it in a few videos, it is red. Red is my favorite color. I I want to say it's the best color. Honestly, um, you can see my glasses are red. Pretty cool though. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I want to say like having all your clothes in, in just one color. I want to say that's just too much of just that color, you know. Like I, you know, variety of colors, you know. Because I have different colors to choose, so it's like, you know, you want to match. So... Now, I want to say, question number 24, I might not ask, because it's like, I want to say it's just too weird, or, or something. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to say 24. Number 18, what is one strange talent that you have? One strange talent, strange talent that I have. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people can do this, a lot of people can't. Um, but I can take my finger, you know, and just bend it back all the way to touch my hand. I think that looks painful, but it's not. I can do both. I actually do my thumb as well. Doesn't hurt at all. Good. I'm, I'm actually surprised I can still do that. I've been doing that all my life. Basically, ever since I was little, I'm, I'm like almost 25 now. I'm, I'm, I'll be 25 in September, you know, and I can still do that, you know, pretty crazy. But yeah, that's my talent. And um, I can also do one toe on both feet, which is kind of crazy. Because I know the toes are like more, what do you call it? They don't bend as much, <clears throat> but it's just really weird. It's super crazy. <clears throat> but yeah, number 19. What is the most expensive thing you broke? <clears throat> now, honestly, I want to say the most expensive thing I broke. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> um, was one of my old TVs. 
Um, and it wasn't like super expensive, but it's, it's, it's just like the most expensive thing I broke. It just, it was an older TV, it was Emerson. So, older name brand. <clears throat> but yeah, it wasn't even 200, I don't think. But, you know. Number 20 is what kind of car is your dream car? Now, if I have my license and stuff, and I, if I was like super rich, I'll be living in an area or a state that was actually street legal for this car. Um, but then on the roads, it would have to be like super, like flat, super clean. <clears throat> you know, but my dream car is a Lamborghini Turzo Millennio. It's a very nice car. Um, it is actually in GTA 5 online. It's called the Pegasi Tesseract, I want to say it is. <clears throat> but it's a very nice car, sick car. All electric, I want to say. <clears throat> My like second place, so the Turzo is first place. Second place is the Lamborghini Sean. Top two right now, I want to say. Other than the Bugatti, Bugattis, you know. But, <clears throat> but yeah, number 21. Have you ever been in a car accident? I have been in a couple of them. Um, it need, uh, none of them were major. Um, like I didn't get hurt in any of them, I want to say. Um, I think the last one I was in, I was in a small Buick car. <clears throat> and, um, like, I don't even remember the, the season or the kind of weather we had at, at the time. Um, but I want to say it was on the freeway or something. Or on the main road. But, um, we ended up in an SUV, green SUV. Like, I don't know the whole story behind that. I don't know, like, what happened. But, you know, things happen. You know, stupid drivers, you know, want to do stupid stuff. Um, <clears throat> number 22, do you have any, do you have any collections? I did have a collection uh, a couple months ago. I, I do still have one, kind of. Uh, I do have a shoe collection. I don't really call it a collection, though. But it's kind of one. So a couple months ago, um... <clears throat> I had a, a controller collection of just Xbox Series X uh, controllers. I had uh, the Chrome Series. I would buy the Carbon Black Series X controller, buy the front shell, the Chrome one, swap it, done, change it up. So I had the red, I had the gold, the blue, and the purple. Um, all I needed was like, like three more, I believe. Four more. I needed the silver, green, pink, and the kind of rainbow one. <clears throat> but I ended up selling that collection. You know, I mean, I, I had a lot more than that. I had the Aqua Shift. I had the Camo one. I had all four of the uh, regular ones. I had the um, actual carbon black, the red, the blue. The uh, neon green, neon yellow one. I was having an Elite Series 2. So I had quite a few. Um, number 23. How many languages do you speak? Just one. Just English. The one, the one I'm speaking now. Obviously. <coughs> um, I don't know, some Spanish, but not really a lot. Um... You know, just English. You know. So, skipping 24, that's just a little weird. Number 25. What is your favorite restaurant? Now, my favorite restaurant is... Actually, I actually have a few, actually. But, um... I want to say my most favorite one is Chipotle. I can't... I want to say I can't live without it, honestly. 
it's just so good to me like oh my god it's like the best food man it's, it's awesome food i mean i like steak and shake i like applebee's texas drug house mcdonald's you know all the fast food ones taco bell burger king um there was one that closed up i don't know there's a few open but i don't know where they're at in ohio um but one of the classics is white castle good good food good sliders you know kind of missed that one <clears throat> no it is what it is though but yeah number 26 have you ever been in a fight i have been in a fight last one i was in i want to say it was third grade the last real fight i was in i want to say third grade um now back then you had to walk in a straight line <clears throat> you know with the whole class just walking straight in a line um so we were walking and my i guess my one friend it wasn't Cree, by the way um it was just one of my other friends he threw a crayon at me or something i don't even know what it was but hit me in the head kind of hurt a little bit so I turned around, I was like, I was like, you alright, man? I was like, what are you doing? And then he was like, not in the mood for some reason, I don't know why, but he took it out on me, though. So, we ended up arguing back and forth. Um, he, he tried to push me, I pushed him back a little bit, and then I just kind of tackled him. We kind of fought, and that was it, basically. But yeah, I was in a fight. Number 27, what is your dream job right now? Um, so, my dream job right now is, I did work it, but not that long because, kind of a long story. Um, so, it was a job called Reliable Appliances. <clears throat> I did, they do refrigerators, washers, dryers, mini fridges, you know, stuff like that. I worked on the baler, on a, on a styrofoam baler, where you just bale styrofoam all day. Um, I don't really like, like jobs like that. I don't like them at all. Because you're standing in one spot all day, you know? So it's like, you get eventually bored, you get tired from standing all day. I mean, yeah, you get tired from doing, like, actually walking around too, but it's like, I'd rather walk around than stay in one spot, you know? Be more, what do you call it? Do more exercise and stuff, you know. Um, but I did uh, my dream job there. You know, working with pallet jacks, dollies, one one hand trucks, whatever you want to call them. Um, you know, putting some refrigerators, some washers on. Uh, you know, big trucks. You know, shipping trucks and stuff. You know, that, that's what I love to do. I mean, you do get your exercise in. You know, you get a little bit stronger and stuff. Um, the one day I did stack, you know, mini fridges, you know, they're, they're kind of heavy, but not like, like an actual refrigerator. Do like, I want to say like, what, half the weight? No, I even have like a lot less than half, uh, the weight of that. But I, I, I just used to pick them up by themselves and just stack them, you know, <clears throat> yeah, they, they used to stack by twos, you know, two, 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 two. Um, kind of awesome job though. So the only reason it didn't work out was because the boss there, like honestly, I don't know who's worse between McDonald's, McDonald's boss and Reliable's boss. I don't know who was worse. Um, honestly, I want to say it's a toss up between both. Um, now, I work my butt off at both jobs, you know. But reliable, I work my butt off there even more than McDonald's. But like sometimes my phone would be dead if I didn't charge it, or I would forget it at home. Um. So, but the thing is, what made me mad was my boss thought I was on my phone when I wasn't. Like he, he like almost every single day, almost. <clears throat> like he would yell at me. He would be like, "Steve, get off your phone." I'm like. Dude, I'm not even on my phone. 
Like, really? Like, it's either in my pocket, dead, or it's at home. Like, because I never really charge it, you know? Plus, there was a, um, at the time, I had a Nexus 6P as a Google phone. They didn't have the best battery life, um, especially when I bought it used, you know? And it had the best battery life, so it kept dying fast. So, like I said, it was either dead in my pocket or it was at home. But he kept yelling at me almost every day. He was like, Steve, you're off the phone. I'm like, dude, I'm not even on it. Like, what are you talking about, you know? Like, calm down. Just stupid bosses, man. But yeah. <clears throat> and yeah, putting my two weeks in. I'm not putting, putting up with that. Plus, the boss did lie to me. Yes, he even said, well, I'm going to switch your uh, position, whatever, to, you know, the pallet jacks or the, or the and the uh, one-hand trucks for the dollies, you know. So like, that way I can load, load trucks and stuff. You know, I was so happy about it. I was so happy. But then he ended up changing his mind or whatever. And then, I mean, it's not really lying, but it's like he, he ended up changing his mind last minute because the next day I went into work. I was trying to, you know, get a paddle jack, get a one-hand truck, you know. Um, you know, lost some trucks and stuff, you know. But then he was like, yeah, Steve, I'm sorry, man, but I had to change it back to your old position. I was like, so mad, man. Like, I was done with it. But I didn't, but I hated the, the Baylor job. I hated it. You know. I mean, was it worth the money? I don't really know, honestly. Um, Ten bucks an hour. It wasn't really full time, I don't think. I was only getting like 30 something hours. Not completely 40. But I got a little bit of money. You know, whatever. But yeah. Um, number 28. Where is the farthest you've traveled? Now, I don't drive. I just drive my bike and stuff. Now the farthest I've gone with my bike, um, it was to Brunswick, Ohio. Now that's kind of far from my from my house, from my from my and my grandma's house. Um, <clears throat> you know, so me and Cree, we go to. We just go all the way up to one street. I forgot the street though. I forgot the I forgot the name of it. Um, we went, we went all the way down or up, I should say. Um, a few minutes, I think, an hour later, we were in Strongsville, Ohio, by by South Park Mall. Um, it wasn't a bad ride, but we kept going past that. Like we kept going, 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 going. Like, we ended up getting tired because it was so hot that day. So we went, we stopped somewhere, we got a couple of drinks, a couple of snacks, you know. Because we didn't, like, we didn't pick a lunch or nothing, you know. And we didn't know what was in Brunswick. We didn't, we didn't even know. Like, me and Cree, you know, we always want to go somewhere, you know, especially in the summer. We always, we always want to go, like, bike riding. But, like, like in this area, and, and other areas and stuff like it's the same old stuff like it's the same stuff over and over again like we want to find like new places to go so he said hey steve you know he called me one day he said hey steve do you want to go somewhere far i was like yeah sure so he said he suggested brunswick i was like all right so we both look it up see how far it is it was a two hour bike ride that's ridiculous but we did do it so two hours there, two hours back. That's kind of crazy, especially on the bike, you know? I mean, I did put the miles on it. Like, it wasn't the bike I have now. I have an e-bike now. The one I did it with was a Schwinn bike, I want to say, the, the Schwinn Taff 29 inch. You know, Walmart bike, not the best bike, but it was one of the best I ever had. But yeah, two hours there, two hours back, you know? We uh, played some ball. You know, played some catch or whatever. Um, you know, we we try to explore a little bit. You know, find new 
places, find new stuff to do. So yeah. But like driving wise, like I don't like I said, I don't drive, so <clears throat> you know and a car, the farthest I drove or traveled was to my uncle's house back in two thousand five. Um, it's a weird like how how I remember that. But um it was North Carolina. I forgot the city. But it was to my uncle's house and we ended up staying a week or a few days to a week. You know, hang out with my cousins, hang out with my uncle and stuff, so pretty cool. Um unfortunately unfortunately I did break his window. My bad. Because I was mad at my one sister. I forgot what she did or said, I don't even know. But I took a baseball that was on the dresser. I whipped it at her. She ducked and it went out the window. Like it broke the window. Um, I, I threw it so hard that it went through the window and through the screen. and went like halfway down the street. Like I whipped it. It was crazy. <clears throat> so my uncle had to go get the ball. Because I think it was a signed one or something. On it. I don't even know. I think I seen someone's signature on it. <clears throat> Pretty crazy stuff there. So I did get in trouble for that. My parents did have to pay for that, so things happen, you know. But yeah. Number 29. What is the most expensive thing you bought off of Amazon? So I want to say the one thing is the most expensive because everything else was under 100 bucks, Under 100 for everything else. So the most expensive thing I bought off of Amazon was a wrestling belt. It was a big gold fondue WWE belt. But the thing is, it wasn't like actual WWE. It didn't have like the WWE logo on it, like the W. Um, but it was a very nice belt. It was pretty heavy. Like it like it felt like a real belt. Like it was just crazy. And that actually weighed more than an Xbox. That's kind of ridiculous there. But it was beautiful. Um, like the leather wasn't the best. But the plates were amazing. Like, I know some belts, like some wrestling belts, like you can actually bend even the metal ones, like the steel, whatever. Like sometimes you can still bend it a little bit. But this belt, the fondue, you cannot bend it. I tried all my strength, and I'm I'm a pretty strong dude too. Like, I mean, I don't look like I don't look it, but I am strong. Um, but I took the name plate. I'd try to bend it. I couldn't even bend it, not even a smidge. Not even a smidge. Just, I was like that. I was like, dang, you know? Like, holy crap. Like it's, it was, like the reason I couldn't bend it, it was because it was, I looked at the uh, description of the, like the material and stuff. So it said the plates were 100% nickel and 100% gold. That's why. Because both of those being 100%, that's hard, like, to bend. Like, you, you actually have to melt that to actually, like, mess it up. Like, you can probably hit it with a sledgehammer, probably dent it a little bit, but it won't, really, it won't break it or nothing. But, like, stuff like that, you actually have to melt down. You know, which is crazy. But that, but that was $300. I pay for that belt, which isn't bad at all, because those fondue belts can go up to a grand easy, especially on eBay. <clears throat> but what's just crazy is how Amazon, on a lot of things, is a lot more, like a lot more than eBay sometimes on, you know, just certain stuff. But eBay, I look at fondue belts, they were almost a grand, up to a grand. You know, some were 700, some were 800. Some are 900, but I got mine for $300 off Amazon, which isn't bad, brand new. So, you know, not bad. Last one. <clears throat> Number 30. Now, this is the uh, question that I wanted to get off my chest. I, this is actually something I want to get off my chest. Um, so the question is, have you ever smoked? Honestly, I have. Back when I was 18. It was, it was actually right before they changed the uh, 
age to 21, you know, because I live in Ohio, so they raise the age, I think, a couple months to a few months later. But, um, me and a certain someone, not saying, not saying any names, no names, but me and someone, um, did, uh, smoke, at least try it, you know, did everyone try it at least once, um, but we started and quit same day, because I didn't want, you know, any more bad habits, I mean, I do have a couple now, you know, a couple bad ones, I mean, I buy my nails and stuff, stuff like that, um, you know, but yeah, I didn't want any more bad ones, so, you know, but it was just weird because <clears throat> it tastes like mint to me, like a mint taste. Like it was just kind of weird, especially for a cigarette, you know. By the way, it was just cigarettes I smoked. I didn't smoke any marijuana, meth, weed, nothing like that. So my family, don't get worried. Don't freak out. <clears throat> I don't do the heavy stuff, you know, because I can't really afford those either. Because I don't know those... You know, it can go up in price. Uh, so, you know. But yeah, that's the Q&A. Front and back. Um, there was actually some of my, uh, a couple stories I wanted to share with you guys. that are kind of personal to me. But like I said, they are personal. But it's something personal that I want to share with you guys. So... Now, all my videos before August, I want to say, um, you saw I didn't have glasses. Um, and I know it's, um, in a few videos, you saw that I had, I had a lazy eye and stuff. I know you probably saw it. Um, I don't have any more though. I got it fixed. <clears throat> so... August 20th, um, I, I, I should, you know, start from the beginning, I should say. So, basically how it started, <clears throat> I did have a lazy eye, I did have it for a few years, um, now when I first got it, there was nothing I could do about it, there was no, you know, surgeries at the time, um, so, but the thing is, like, I can see out of it, but it's like, it wasn't like 100%. It was like kind of bad, actually. Like this eye here, this eye is my best one. Like, they're both good now, but at the time, this one was my best one. This one was my worst. Like, I couldn't really see out of this one. Just a smidge. Um, but you can see, it's better now. A lot better than it was. Um, so, I, I think I got my glasses before that. Um, so, I went to an eye exam to get my eyes checked and everything. So, the guy <clears throat> tests test my eyes, my vision. And um, he did say I need glasses. But uh, he said I also needed surgery for this eye. Because I told him I couldn't see out of it. So it's like... I mean, surgery wouldn't really help it. You know, in the long run. At least you wouldn't think so. It, would, it wouldn't. It um, would But surprisingly, it did help it. Help my vision a lot. Because... I want to say on the, on the vision scale. I think 2020 is like one of the best. This one's actually 2015. Which is actually better than 2020. This one is 2020 now. But before, it was like higher or whatever. It was like 2050 or something like that. 2060, it was like super bad. <clears throat> like I was almost blind in his eye. It was just crazy. But um, but I did get the glasses before that. Um, so August 20th, I um, got my surgery done. Um, now it did make me nervous because what? My doctor said he had to do. It did make me nervous, but I still went through with it. You know, 
and it didn't scare me, but it just made me a little nervous, you know. So, what he told me was to fix it with the surgery. He had to adjust two muscles, or one muscle, in uh, this eye, um, so he can like match it with this one, like match it, like like straighten it, whatever. But um, but he did say it wasn't gonna help the vision. It was just kind of like straighten it, you know, make it look normal. But, um, it was like a miracle or something. I don't know. But it did. I'm closing one eye. I'm closing this eye. Oh, keep this one open. I can see it perfectly. You know? But, um, it was a miracle, though, that it helped my vision. <clears throat> but, um, but he had, he had to adjust one muscle uh, on this eye to straighten it. Um, so after the surgery, and I, I didn't even remember anything at all because they put me to sleep for it, you know. It was crazy how quick they put me to sleep because I was laying on the bed, the bed thing, you know, to get the surgery. And then all I, all I remember is the lady saying, hi, my name is, you know, whatever. I forgot her name. But after she said that, boom, everything went to black. I was done. I was out. So, it took like 45 minutes, I want to say, to do the surgery, which isn't bad. Um, so they put me in a wheelchair, you know, help me out the door and stuff. Um, but he told me to take, you know, for the pain, to take Tylenol, Advil, stuff like that, you know, for the pain and stuff. But, um, the thing is, it, it felt more weird than it hurt. Like, I didn't, I did feel pain in the eye. But it's like, especially when I blinked, because I had stitches and stuff. Every time I blinked, it would like move the stitches a little bit, which is kind of like weird. But it felt more weird than it hurt. Like, you know, like I had more of a weird feeling than a pain feeling, you know, which is just weird. I didn't take any medicine either. You know, I took it like a champ, 100%. Um, you know, I am weird when it comes to pain, um, at least certain pain I am weird with, um, you know, getting tattoos, does it phase me at all, getting shots, does it phase me, um, you know, the surgery, after the surgery, didn't phase me at all, um, you know, <clears throat> now when it comes to like shots and stuff, I'm like super weird with shots because every time I need a shot, boom, I don't get it. Because I love needles and stuff. It is weird to love needles. It's bizarre. It is 100% bizarre. Because I know a lot of people... I know there's a few people that love needles. That love shots. But it's like... As much as I love them though. Like it's just kind of weird man. To a lot of people. Um, it is weird to me too. How I like just love them. It's just really weird. Especially when I get blood and stuff. Like it's... Like every time I get blood I watch the tube. Take my, take my blood and stuff. Like, I, I actually look at it. Like, it's really weird, you know. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, tattoos, they don't phase me. No, nothing phases me, really. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. But, yeah. There's also another story. That's the first story I want to share with you guys. The second one is about my knee and my ankle. <clears throat> now, they're both separate stories. But, um... I want to say the ankle, the, my ankle was first before the knee. Um, it was they, they both happened in sophomore year in high school. Um, so I did mess up my ankle in sophomore year, jumping off the bleachers in the gym. Because me, me and this one kid, we, you know, playing we were playing catch with the football, you know, just throwing it back and forth, and then all of a sudden he throws it. I tried to catch it, but it bounced off the wall. He threw it high, too. It hits the wall, because on top of the bleachers. So, I just kind of, like, climbed it. I climbed the bleachers to get it, you know, to get it down. And, um, I was like, alright, I threw it to the kid. He caught it. I jumped down. My ankle, on my one foot, it was, like, like sideways or something. I don't even, I don't even know how it happened. But I landed on my ankle. 
and it hurt like super bad. Oh my god. <clears throat> it was like the worst feeling I ever had. Like, but like that kind of pain, I don't like at all. Like, 100%. Like needles, you know, tattoos, shots, you know, I'll be fine with. But breaking bones and stuff, I didn't break the, I didn't break my ankle, but it felt like I did. Um, it still hurts. It still hurts to this day. Not every single day, but it hurts a couple times a week. Especially like depends on how I walk and stuff. Um, but yeah. I jump off bleachers, land on it. Not pretty, but uh, yeah. So that happened. Next, same year. It was just I want to say a month or two after. I messed up my knee. It's like like again, still hurts to this day, just like my ankle. They're just opposite sides though. So it is my right ankle that's messed up, and it's my left knee that's messed up. <clears throat> Um, now I don't really limp, but I'll limp when I need to, you know, because some days it, like, hurts bad, you know, you know, some days are worse than others, you know, but some days you will see me limp and stuff, some days you won't, just depends on the day, depending on how it's feeling and stuff, but, um, what I did was I was going to class, you know, I had to go back to the first floor because my schedule was out of whack. It was just crazy ridiculous. It's my because the way my schedule was in high, in a sophomore year was say my first class was say first floor, and then my second one was third, and then say my say the next one was the first floor again, and then back to the second, then the first, then the third, and it's just like a pattern, like going up and down, up and down. You know that's typical that's that's normal but like like really I had to do that every day but the one day um I was on the second floor um going to class walked down a couple steps I tripped over the one I don't know how um but for some reason I turned I don't really know why but um I tripped I turned and I bashed my knee into the rail on accident. Like, I didn't mean to at all. Like, I don't even know how or why it happened. <clears throat> but it hurt really bad. And what made it worse was I fell down the rest of the steps. And I hit the knee. I hit, hit my knee on the floor. You know, when I fell down the rest of them, I hit my knee on the floor. Which made it worse. Now, I didn't break it. You know, if I, if I would have broke it, I would have known 100%. You know, you break your knee, you break your ankle, you're gonna know. You know, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt way worse than you than it does. You know. So um, when I got my last checkup, you know, from my doctor and stuff, which is right up the street, pretty convenient. You know, now I, I can just walk there. You know, but um, got my last checkup. I told her, told my doctor about it, told her the story about my knee. Um. So she did recommend me getting an x-ray for it, even though it's been how many years later? Um, cause this happened sophomore year, so I've been 2014 or so, I don't even know what year it was. Cause I graduated in 2016, so a couple years before that, it's been a few years, but um, she still recommends me getting an x-ray. Um, you know, hopefully when I do get the x-ray, whenever that day is, hopefully I get to record it. I can put it on YouTube. If they let me, of course. Um, so, you know. I will try to um, update you guys on my life and stuff. That's why I named my channel Steve's Life. Because I, I, I just want my channel about my life, you know. That's, that's, why, I want, that's why I wanted my channel to be about. <clears throat> but it's like, I mean, I'll do like different videos, you know, even though it's called Steve's Life, I'll do, like, gaming, I'll do vlogs, I'll do Spongebob episodes, stuff like that, you know, um, I do have a separate gaming channel called Steve's Gaming, um, it's my backup channel, actually, and I know YouTube's being kind of weird right now with people, so it's like, and I know people are getting, like, random strikes and stuff, 
and just like random penalties or whatever you want to call them. And it's like, what's going on with this? I mean, I never had any random ones for no reason, but you know, that's what's happening with YouTube with some uh, YouTubers. So I decided to make a backup channel, just straight gaming, just gaming. Um, now I will uh, do some videos of the 360. I will do some videos of the Wii. I do have a, a, a the OG Wii I have, the white one, with the uh, GameCube um, controller ports. So, uh, you know, do some videos on that. You know, do some on 360. Do some GTA 5 videos for you guys. Do some missions. Go from there. But yeah, I will keep, I will keep you guys updated um, about my life and stuff. Now, some personal stuff, I don't mind sharing with you guys. Some other stuff, I'm not kind of like, going to share. You know, yeah, some stuff might be too personal, so I'm not going to share it. But stuff like this, you know, stories and stuff about my life, you know, I'll share. Um, you know, stuff, stuff like that. But yeah, that's the, basically about my eye, my knee, my ankle. You know, that's the Q&A. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Wow, this video is one hour long. That's crazy. <clears throat> but uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys liked it. Hit the like button down below. Hit um, you know, share the video. Hit the bell icon so you know when I'm gonna upload a new video. Uh, put comments down below. Give me some ideas for new videos. Um, you know, put in the comments for the for the kind of videos you you guys want to see. We'll go from there, you know, we'll do, we'll do another Q&A if you guys want, ask me some more questions, we'll go from there. But again, one last time, hit the like button, share the video, hit the bell icon, put comments down below, don't forget to do the main thing, don't forget to like and subscribe to Steve's Life and Steve's Gaming. Peace out, we out.